Hello there and welcome to the Points Performance Podcast. Uh, this week I'm going to talk about failure. Um, I'm going to pick on young Simone Biles. Um, so this last week she quit one of the events at the Olympics. Um, what really happened is that she failed a vault. She was supposed to do one, two and a half twists in this vault and only did one and a half. Um, and initially the US team said that it was some sort of medical issue. Um, but then Simone Biles came out and said that she was struggling mentally. Um, she also said, I don't trust myself as much anymore. Maybe it's getting older. There are a couple of days when everybody tweets you when you can feel the weight of the world. We're not just athletes, we're people at the end of the day. And sometimes you just have to step back. Um, I feel like I'm not having as much fun at the Olympic Games. I wanted it to be for myself, but I came in and felt like I was doing it for other people. It hurts my heart that doing what I love has been taken away from me to please other people. So what she's getting at there is that she's not doing it for herself or she felt like she wasn't doing it for herself this time at the Olympic Games. Of course, Simone Biles is one of the most successful um, American gymnasts of all time. I think she's won five gold medals last time. Um, she was here, she's 24 years old, so still a very young lady, obviously an incredible athlete and performer. But this time, however, she did not perform. Um, and then she also quit. Um, I see that as failing twice. She failed, the, she failed the movement and then she failed again because she quit before the end of the whatever it is. I don't really understand the sport, so I can't comment on that. But she quit, she walked off. She left her, her teammates um, to fend for themselves against the Russians, with, with which they ultimately, who they lost against. Um, so was what, and what's even more mental is that she came out after that a few, de few days later on the beam and won a bronze medal. So she's actually all right. And I get that these movements are really like dangerous and you know I wouldn't attempt them ever. Might have you offered me all the tea in China. Um, but this is the sport. This, this is the sport you play. This is what you do. Um, and if you're not willing to do it, then you need to take a step back and leave it to somebody else who does want it because you're taking an opportunity away from some young kid as well in America some young girl who's probably idolised Simone Biles, um, who is good enough and is willing to take the risk, is willing to play the sport and is willing to put the body online to win and, and for the teammates um, because it looks like Simone Biles isn't willing to do that. Now, I can't guess as to why she's not willing to do it anymore. She says maybe it's getting older and, you know, you do. It, the saying is that you get older, you get wiser like, and, that, and that could be it. Um, I think you get a bit more experience. She may have had a few more uh, falls in training, she may have a few niggles, she may have a few injuries, she might have a bit of pain and um, these little things might have added up so much so where a brain's telling her don't bother with that jump today um, and not for anyone, not for you, not for herself which is what you, she's, she's, you know, she doesn't feel like she's competing for herself anymore but also not for anyone else. Um, I think when you do a, a dangerous sport um, and not a game where you do something like MMA or rugby or whatever. You like you, you know you do you do need reasons. Your teammates can be a reason why you put your body on the line. Um, you know your own self, your own achievements. Um, you know you, you should have something that you draw on. And it looks like Simone Biles doesn't have that anymore. And it might be from the like I'm guessing that gymnastics is one of those sports you do when you're a you start when you're a you know tiny kid when you're like three or four years old I'm guessing um and you, that's it that's your way of life then like it's probably like six days a week you're doing gymnastics for hours a day and uh you probably don't question it it's like you go to school um it's just something you do so maybe that that's what it is she's done this for 20 years of her life and now it's like well why do I want to do that anymore moving on I don't mind, and I just want to say, I don't mind that. Like, if she's done with it, she's done with it. If uh, if she doesn't see the value in it, she doesn't want to put her body on the line anymore, then fine. Um, the excuses I've got a problem with, like, because I do feel that it, that it is a, a bunch of excuses instead of just owning up to it and just being like, it's not for me anymore. 
uh, I, I haven't got the courage to do it anymore. I don't want to put my body on the line anymore. Instead of making excuses, obviously she's emotional. She's just done the event. She's just lost or whatever. Um, but to blame it on like, you know, to even push it towards the fact that she says like, oh, I, I, it hurts my heart that doing what I love has been taken away from me to please other people. It's just casting the blame on somewhere else when really what, what happened was that she went to do the task and couldn't perform. Whether she fell off the, the, the vault, the, the, the runway or couldn't do the jump or didn't want to do the next one. It's all on her. She failed. It's no one else's fault. Um, my other issue with this is that the way it's been celebrated, I just don't get it. Like in the, in social media, on social media, in the public eye, it's like, oh, amazing. Look at her. She's failed. It's so, and she's so brave. Nah, she failed and she failed twice. She failed again when she quit and she walked off and left her teammates. Imagine if you're 4-0 down in a, in a football game and there's half an hour to go and you just walk off because you're like, oh, fuck it, my head's not in it. <laughs> Imagine if a footballer did that. Like last time, I used to watch football when, I, I stopped watching football when Alex Ferguson left United. Um, probably because I didn't like losing either. But, um, you know, imagine if, imagine if Giggs just walked off with half an hour to go when they were 3-0 down against Arsenal. It, it, it's unheard of. It would never happen. It would never happen. Never. Um, he'd be completely attacked in the public eye. He'd be completely attacked on social media in the news. But now it's celebrated. Is it, and is it because, like, we celebrate... Is it because it's more relatable? Is Is failure relatable? Is that what it is? Is it like, well, I can see that, I can see that cowardice in myself, so I should celebrate it and mask it with this, you know, all this sort of like love for it. Um, letting everyone know that it's okay. And is it because we do have, we do have successes and failures in our life and we can, yeah, people can just see that cowardice in themselves that they see in Simone Biles. Um, but yeah, it's weird. It's been a weird one, this Olympic Games. We've had that incident with the high jumping as well, um, where the two the two guys both jumped the same height, couldn't jump the next one and then took a joint gold medal. There's got to be another way. Like, if it was me, I wouldn't want to win and somebody else win. Obviously, I'm not an elite Olympic athlete. However, it just seems a bit weird to me how that's like celebrated as well like you both didn't win if you've both won you both didn't win because there is only one winner as uh as the saying goes in highlander there can be only one um and then um we had a bit of what i would call well another failure um and i wonder what this person's headspace was like at the time but we had um Laurel Hubbard, the Olympic weightlifter from New Zealand, who is a biological male, competing in the women's division in the super heavyweight category, the 87 plus, completely bombed out of the snatch after failing to attempt, uh, failing to lift 120 and 125 kilos. Um, yeah, you know, it, what's the what's the deal there? Like, let's, I'm gonna I'm gonna hazard a few guesses at this one as to why. Laurel failed to lift. She's hit. She's hit. Laurel has hit those lifts before. When he, when he, when he was eighteen, when he, when he identified as a male, uh, he snatched one hundred and thirty-five kilograms. Now he's one of the oldest athletes in the Olympics. I think um, Laurel's forty-three. Um, but and so that's a that's a long time ago. But she failed to snatch one hundred and twenty. In the women's division, is it imposter syndrome? Is it because she knows she's in the she's a male biological male competing in the female division? She's hit these lifts before as a female. Hit way more as a male. I'm interested to see what people think about that. Um, but yeah, certainly, certainly entertaining, and yeah. I'm glad a woman won it anyway. And it was brilliant to see um, England get a, a silver in the weightlifting with Emily Campbell as well. 
uh, yeah, bit of a weird one this week. Like uh, th this, uh, this failure is is huge. I think like it's um, it is it's a tutor, it's a mentor, it's it's something to draw on. It's not something to shy away from. Failure is 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 a great great teacher. I've I failed. I failed in sport. I failed as a husband. I failed as a dad. I failed as a friend. I failed as a coach. Definitely failed as a coach. Um, but I learned, I've not just binned it off, not been like, oh, I've had an argument with my missus because of something I've done wrong. And then just been like, right, let's sack it off. Let's get divorced. Um, you learn, you learn from it and improve. That is it. You can't just bin it off because you're used to winning every day. Um, because when how are you going to get better? Like you, we get stronger through adversity. We get stronger. We get we gain strength from knowing where we're weak, from finding out where we're weak. We've got to be willing to fail. It's like a, you know if you're trying to get stronger, you have to find the limit. You have to find your true hundred percent. Find hundred one percent fail, and then you know how to get stronger. Don't shy away from it. The lesson that we can learn from Simone Biles is own your own failure, own your own shit, and uh, then you can move on as a better person. Thanks for listening.